Howdy doody and welcome back to the channel In today's little adventure we're going to take a walk just up here See the little trees are just on the top up there somewhere We have a walker up there So yeah, we're going up Twiddleton Scar So I didn't plan on anything, I've been playing golf today Hence my clubs are still in there But got a kettle on the go Making a quick brew Because it is Baltic So yeah, come along and join me as we take a walk up there and let's see what happens let's see if we can last it out for sunset anyway so come along and let's see the little bridge there slowly making his way up one half part of the van just there the space for maybe four maybe five cars be careful though there's a bit of a drop off but just as you get to the corner up there where that other little outcrop is and all up there which I think we'll have a wonder another time up there but there's a layby just on top a bit flatter maybe six or seven cars so yeah, that could be another little parking spot But we are, just making his way up here Looks to be a few nice trees up here as well Looking down there, that's the Waterfall walk, the Incomes and walk, waterfall walk So Can be a bit of a shortcut Obviously These signs we're now seeing, no access It's a one way system for Covid So but I'm not telling you to do this. Immediately enough, you probably get over. It's only just where the trees are that side, but I haven't told you that bit. So further on here, there's the um, ice cream van. So yeah, <laughs> an ice cream van on a lovely place like this. It's an afternoon of all weathers today. First getting out of the van, they were hailing, then it clouded over, and now the sun is out. So, perfect weather for photography. <laughs> so, I think just further down here, we sort of double, double back on ourselves and we'll go up that side up there. You can probably follow the, the wall further back where the ice cream van is, but that is steep. And after the last couple of weekends, I don't really want to do too steep. <laughs> I want to try and get, get recovered a bit. So yeah, I'm going to double back on ourselves just further along here. Where you see the big rock, just there. Little path brings you up. It'll zigzag onto the sky at the top. But we're getting the views already, look. Fleeting light all over. Try stone walls. What more could you want in the Yorkshire Dales? What did I say earlier about doing steep? It's only gradual. <laughs> what bloody hell? Wind is kicking up here, but just down there, you pull your seat top of Thornton Force. So like I say, it's not far from the path. Follow the path down across the bridge, and you drop down onto it. So yeah, if you're a good waterfall, that is one of the best round here. But if you want to see lots of waterfalls, if you park up at the Ingleton Waterfalls Centre, you can walk and follow it all the way around. It's a cracking walk. It's great with kids and all, they'll love it. Let's walk up here now. It's time to get a few, a few trees coming in to show, and the welcoming committee of the local herd. We have come to the start of the limestone, 
and a couple of treats to start us off with. This one, windswept, is an absolute peach. I'm going to slowly get up here because this stuff is treacherous, especially when wet. And over the background there is Unglebra, just showing you all its glory. But light at the minute is fantastic. It's little dipples and dapples everywhere. I haven't even got the camera out yet. So, I made a conscious decision to get up here first before I get the camera out. So, I'll get, get up, get round here somewhere. And once I get up to the composition, I'll switch it back on. And then we'll head up over that way. See what we can see with Ingleborough in the background. Now, I've got the first shot in the bag. It was handheld. Excuse me while well, I try and find somewhere to stand. So, the view was, I'll try to get that tree and that one behind me sorted out a bit, but I looked around, there were a bit of light just on the, on the background, not on Ingleborough, but just at the side and this this tree was just sweeping over so yeah, here's in portrait because I want to try and cut this clump out but yeah, we're all about the tree, sweeping over the top of Ingleborough so anyway, for the first shot of the day not too bad, I'll bob that one on for you while I have a and mooch around. Ah, I've just seen another little tree over there, it's quite windswept. It's literally just few yards from these <laughs> so I haven't even got to the top yet see what's up there but I'll get over to that way and see what I can make of that one and then Hingleborough at the minute is lit up I don't know if you can see that or not the light is just fleeting round it I've made up onto the limestone so yeah let's hope that carries on because this could be an interesting evening I'm just quickly taking another one of this one just here obviously with Ingleby in the background as well try to make use of there's a bit of a leading line and that arch of the tree just coming over a branch has snapped off it it's a bit unfortunate but we have had, had a lot of wind this year at the start of this year so I'll bump that one up now for you it did sort of come around Ingleby again I just hope that light is I am handheld at the minute until we get a, a spot on composition I think but it is quite, it is bright enough really to be honest I don't do enough handheld shots it makes it a bit more versatile as well you can just get your stuff out instead of getting everything out and whatnot. so yeah, let's have a little mooch round here and see what there is because one of the other two other trees over there so yeah, let's have a little wander and see what's what <laughs> gone about 200 yards and come across another <laughs> this place is absolutely amazing but these are big dry stone wall so I'll see if there's a little style to get over but there's trees over there but look at this tree here right side of Ingleborough again so yeah this is a great dramatic backdrop is this I normally go back to the scales and down a ribble head in that way as you've seen before, but up one side never beaten this side I've got to thank Mr James R Burns for one of his vlogs for around here, but not in my wildest dreams now I think it was like this this place is unbelievable but yeah, I'm just delicately working my way across here now just to see what I can do around here This tree is an absolute beauty. I've taken a couple of images of this, try to work the limestone as such, but over there is if that stays clear, this could be something special. At the moment, I think I'm going to use this one for 
sunset just because there's nothing in the background at all so hopefully if these clouds stay it could be quite interesting this I'm just wandering around the limestone try and get a leading line as such but I've taken a couple so I'll bob these up now for you and just let me know what you think of this place this is fantastic I'm going to go over the wall in a bit and have a wander at this lot I think I can see a big erratic over on the next ledge so that could be that could be worth an investigation Just getting pelted with hailstones at the minute but all over the distance you can actually see the wind turbines of Morecambe Bay so if it's clear over there hopefully this sky might get lit up but for the time being I'm setting up over here I've seen something in the wall which I think could be a style so I'm gonna try that and then have a little mooch around this side because looks with some interesting trees over here as well it is a bit of a style in the wall but you need bloody wide legs we're being, being a little short ass i could be talking like that soon <laughs> but yeah just a bit of a drop down two steps and down but yeah a great looking tree over there and this little beauty here so yeah these compositions go all up here so when I um, get myself sorted, I'm still handheld. But look at these, all the textures on the limestone. So I'm just hoping, look at this here, all around here. This is great, is this? So even though it is bloody freezing, my hands are frozen. So I'm going to have a little wander around here. See this one here, these one over that side, and we'll try and get on the top level and see where that erratic is uh, I just hope I can do this tree justice I've just probably, you've probably just seen a time lapse now so I'll bob, bob the images I've got on from here so I've been shooting it from the other side to get Ingleby in the background so I'm going to get a couple from round here now with the light out I'm going to go over to that tree there because at the minute the light's on it and there's a bit of Ingleborough as well. So enjoy these. Right, as you can see me now, I'm sat on my backside. I've got quite low on this. I want to try and get this tree in the shape above the skyline as much as I can, but try to keep some of this limestone in as well. Ingleborough was all lit up. We have got dappled light all over at the minute now. I did try and take a shot from the other side, but I can't get the the tree sort of vanishes in the background I can't get it right with the limestone so it's sort of all oh, crisscrossy at that side there's some lovely chunks of it I must admit but yeah I think I'll just have to carry on working it but for the time being I'll bobby this shot on now because the light up, up there was bang on but I'm hoping that's going to drop over there as well so yeah try think of a few compositions this could be quite nice as well you've got the tree leaning over and this sort of coming round so yeah I'll do I'll work a few ball around here but for the time being I'll bob that shot on for you now and um, I'll come back to you in a bit Right, 
I just spot another composition back down, up there, which I'll bob on for you now. I'm just making my way through the limestone. As you can see, it's quite deep in places, is this? Up there, because you see the erratic. I think it's just on the corner over there. So I'm going to have a, have a little wander. It's an investigation over there, but being very careful where I put my feet at a minute. Also keeping an eye out for any more trees, let's say. <laughs> So yeah, I'll put you back on. I'm gonna get over there anyway. But for the meantime, enjoy this next set of images. taking a little diversion because I saw a little gully I thought oh I wonder where it goes this is where it goes some more trees <laughs> that erratic I don't think it wasn't erratic I haven't got there yet but it seems to have lost its prowess from back there there's some more trees on here as well but yeah this place is just fantastic but yeah this must be the edge of of Twizzleton Scar because it seems to be a big a bit of a drop off at that side. So we'll have a little nose around here and see if we can get near the edge and show you what's what. Now, a couple of erratics here, look. So I've taken an image down with Ingub in the background. But you can't get over the wall at this side, so I'm gonna have to go up a little bit. See if there's a place to get over. But it looks like a bit of shit weather coming in over there. So I'm going to get up and see what's what up there. And then we'll um, we'll see what's what. But I'll put me these images on. Are these erratics? But these are wall that cuts through it. So yeah, there's some rain just coming through now, look. So let's um, pop the time lapse on for you and we'll see what's what. Uh, what I am trying to do this time round is Try to contain myself to this top level because I was going to have a, a good wander right across the top and try and find this big erratic. But I'm going to save that for next time. The rain is coming in, but I want to try and get one of these trees on this next level down with a bit of, bit of mood behind it. The sun is still coming through, and there's a big band of rain just across. So we'll see if it works anyway. But if you do come up here, just be careful where you're putting your feet. Just like Malum, this limestone is lethal when wet. Especially now, that it's just starting to rain, it's going to become treacherous. So just be, just be careful on this stuff. I think I may have made the right choice. Because look at that specimen just there. There's a little, little one here that's broke over. So this is a Nice interesting character, but there's a big old one up there. So yeah, let's make his way down. There's a few looks to be on the edge as well. So yeah, let's see what let's see what we get from round here. So we'll leave the boulder till another time. Come across this little composition now with this broken tree. 
So I have sort of framed it with Ingleborough as such, but I want this broken bit in as well. I think it tells a bit of a story about the tree. Because look at this, it is. It's all rotten and everything is this. But what a, what a specimen this is. It could even work from here. So yeah, I'll try that. I'll, um, I'll bob these on for you now. Just let me know what you think, whether it worked or whether it didn't. But this area here, there's even more trees further on, so yeah, let's keep exploring. are bloody fantastic just be careful where you stand like I said earlier look at these like big giant's footprint or dinosaur print as such leading off into the tree from this side of that tree some great contours leading in but the tree just seems to get lost so I think it's another one foggy one or a very moody day as such because the, this tree is a, a great specimen is this but to get it at its best it just needs just needs something I just can't get it a minute I'm having a good wander around do not look too bad from here I might be able to get it separated I'll just show you this nice big piece of limestone there I have to get quite low so it breaks the breaks the branches into the sky so I'll have a go with this one anyway. I'm going to make its way further over as it's approaching. I think it's now must be six o'clock ish. I've been here a few hours anyway. <laughs> taken a couple of images from this side vertical and horizontal horizontal one I like it but the tree just leans the wrong way it sort of takes you out of it the only reason I did horizontal was to try and get Ingleburn so but yeah I'll have a little can we mooch you now on this side but yeah it's a bit of a bit of a tricky one is this I think from the, the very first side when we came down onto this level and saw it I think that's the best one as such. Well, that's where you keep coming back to locations for. Like I say, I'll be definitely coming back here again. Because this is an absolute belter. But first time I've been here, so yeah, I'll be back again. Walking along this level, just come to another little, little open area, and let me just spin you round. We have trees and limestone galore. Look at these, all wind swept over, leading you on, limestone leading you on. It's one there growing out at wall. It's where the hell do you start? <laughs> That's it, I only came for sunset. So, which one do you want? <laughs> Bloody loads. So yeah, I think I'll start with the nearest one and then we'll we'll have a little wander. <laughs> I thought we were going to be about a five, ten minute vlog this. But it's going to turn into a longish one. Right, that's roughly the composition I'm going for. Basically, I've got myself a little, nice little seat. <laughs> Vertical orientation. I haven't quite got the tree on the right and third, mainly because I want these three bits of limestone separated. 
get on the third this one here cuts into that but i like the separation in the foreground which i think works and it's just getting the three big trees in so they all sort of lean into each other so i do think this one works quite well there's a bit of touch of color in the sky it's not quite that time yet but it is getting early evening now so yeah i'll bob this one up now for you i have done a three shot bracketed one panorama as such a vertical pano just see what that's come out like so i'll put the normal shot on first and then i'll put the panorama one on and let me know what you think and we'll have a lot of wonder over that side I would normally get the drone up as well, but with this wind, oh, with this wind, that ain't happening today. So it is, some of these are quite rocky. These one of the two others, there's a small one down there that I'm gonna have a look at. But this, this weather is just coming in now. Any chances, it's gonna give a, a sunset, I don't know, but we'll have a look at these two trees anyway and see what we can do with these. And there's another quite interesting one just down there, so. We're still, still exploring on the limestone pavement. Yeah, I just, I cannot get it to work. Can't get the limestone in the right place. And that side, it sort of runs off into the grass, which is great, but then it brings all this one in behind it so yeah these two I think are going to be quite difficult but the limestone around here is just breaking up down here look so nice big chunks at this side but down there is breaking up a bit but I'll have a little wonder down there anyway I think I'll leave these two for the time being because the light's going so this is definitely a location to visit 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 and keep on visiting because Every time you come, it's going to be different. I sort of bypassed this one for the time being. Concentrating on this one. I've got a bit of limestone pavement on its own and then steps into another. So I've got a ver vertical orientation with this one. So I'll bob it on now for you. Let me know what you think. The light is sort of getting stumped out over there. It is getting hazy as well. A few light rays and that coming down, but yeah. Ever, ever, ever hopeful. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on working in this area anyway, and then we'll, I'll pick a tree for um, the sunset, which I think can work this one. This one could be quite nice looking that way, depending what happens with that sky. just a couple of images now these trees that are leaning over I'm not not keen on the limestone around there it's all been broken up and everything so you don't get the leading lines like you do up here with these but the two leading trees just here I've done them one one way one the other way <laughs> if you know what I mean I've got them so this one's a bit like it is now so it's leading out and leading out and then I've tried to get around the other way so this one leads you in and leads you in You'll know what I mean when I put them both up. <laughs> but yeah, I think one works, one don't, but I just can't get the limestone right for the foreground. Found a nice little spot for sunset. I was to turn you around. There we go. A nice little tree coming straight out of the crags on the limestone pavement. 
I've got the neck up quite high because it is a severe slope is this. So I've got the neck up high as well, just so I can get some separation from the tree coming round off the crag. It is turned very hazy. I must admit, it has turned hazy, so we'll see anyway. But for the time being, I'm going to have my coffee and I'm sure I have brought what I always bring with me when I come out. If you just bear with me. A packet of custard creams. <laughs> so it's a coffee, custard cream while we wait for this sunset. peeps it is starting to happen a little bit we see from time lapses so far it did get hazed out this is still a bit hazed over in the distance but I'm just hoping it's gonna hold off I've taken a few shots already that I'll put for you but with the sun right in your face at the minute I'm just holding off a bit because what I want it to do I want it to crest over that fell not fell yeah it fell over there so I'll just wait to crest over there then I'm gonna F22, try and get the sun star. It is just lighting up this foreground a touch just down here. I am bracketing as well, obviously shooting straight into the sun. So, yeah, it's a nice, nice pleasing image so far. I thought it would get hazed out, but yeah, we're doing all right. So what I'll do, I'll set the time what's going again and I'll come back to you when it's over. So enjoy, <coughs> excuse me choking on the old custard creams. So enjoy this next time lapse. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just now waiting for a bit of afterglow or such. Just turn you around, still in the same place. I've come down a little bit lower, just trying to get a bit more of this rock in so the tree comes up. But obviously, <coughs> I'm still bracketing, shooting straight into the sun. So, what I'll do, I'll bob the all these on for you now. And if you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. I just keep saying it's only a small channel, but we are, we are getting there and we are getting out and about. So, hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you again on the next one. heading back down now if there had been a bit more clouds up here as such then I think uh, that would have been better with the afterglow so yeah and again from Twizzle and Scar if you've enjoyed this please give us a thumbs up and, was, and again please like and subscribe I'm filled up on my custard creams now <laughs> so I'm just heading down now as it is getting a little bit cool and a little bit hazy so I'll see you again on the next one.